a gram to five grams of arginine a day may, might be something to think about. Um, usually the, the testosterone works really well. You might also want to try some DHEA, uh, 10 to 15 milligrams a day on DHEA for, uh, improving male, uh, for improving erections. Sometimes that helps also. And then vitamin A also might help too, 20,000 international units a day of vitamin A. All right? Great. Irene, Thank is that you. good? Thank you, ma'am. Thanks for calling. Also, I forgot to say blood sugar uh, problems can also, diabetes and uh, uh, pre-diabetes or hyperinsulinemia, too much insulin, that can also have a negative effect on, on uh, sexuality. So uh, stabilizing the blood sugar and eating more protein to stabilize the blood sugar is your best strategy. All right, uh, Ron in Florida, what's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Rod. Hey, Rod. Yeah, Ben. Uh, what is eczema? How do you cure it? And, okay. Great question. Um, one more thing. Uh, does it lead to um, manifest, manifest itself in MRSA? Uh, there might be a relationship, MRSA, methicillin-resistant staph aureus. There's staph on the skin. Uh, MRSA is when that staph becomes resistant to antibiotics. Eczema is a condition of an inflammatory condition. This is where I was talking about earlier in the program, how there's this connection between the microscopic level of a cell and the macroscopic appearance of symptoms. When we see eczema, which shows up as rashes or, or incomplete growth of skin, you'll see the underneath layers of the skin appearing, the skin and doesn't get covered over the way it typically the way it typically does in, uh, if it's healthy skin cells aren't dividing like they should they're not growing like they should why don't skin cells grow like they should well they don't grow like they should for the same reason all cells don't grow like they should whether they're in your heart or whether they're in your liver or your bone or on your skin they, they don't grow like they should. Skin cells don't grow like they should because there's inflammation around the cell, keeping that cell from getting nutrition, keeping that cell from getting oxygenated, and keeping that cell from draining away toxins. The inflammatory process, even though it doesn't look like there's inflammation when you have eczema, there is. This is so important, you guys. It doesn't appear like there's any inflammatory process or inflammatory mechanisms kicking in, but the fact that you have eczema is proof positive that there is inflammation going going on. Now, inflammation is a defensive response. That means the body is defending itself from something. The first thing to look at whenever there's inflammation, whether you see it or whether you don't, the first thing to think about is why are there why is something getting into the body or how is something getting into the body that's triggering this defensive response? Well, almost always it's going to be related to food. So for eczema, the first thing to focus on is food and malabsorption, especially malabsorption of fats. Using digestive enzymes, using lecithin, using bile salts, B-I-L-E, using the ultimate enzymes from longevity, using pancreatin, making sure that you're using apple cider vinegar after all your meals. These are all ways that you can improve fat absorption. Take all of these with fatty meals, lecithin, the ultimate enzymes. Probiotics also can be very helpful for fat absorption. The uh, Biolumin Nightly Essence. These are all ways to treat eczema, you guys. For, uh, I'm saying fat absorption, but because eczema is a maybe an indicator that there's fat malabsorption, all of these supplements, lecithin, um, uh, uh, digestive enzymes, the ultimate enzymes, bile salts, probiotics, apple cider vinegar, they can all help with the eczematic condition. Then there's the intake of, and, and by the way, um, uh, eliminating problem foods is also very important. Kids who have eczema oftentimes will have problems with dairy and with grains, but eliminating all problem foods is going to be important. Then you got to make sure you're getting in your fatty nutrients. So step number one, for dealing with eczema, step number one, eliminate problem foods, support digestive system health, especially fat malabsorption issues. Step number two, make sure you're getting your fatty vitamins. Chief among them are vitamin A and vitamin D. Vitamin A is actually used as a treat, uh, prescription treatment for eczema. Uh, same with vitamin D. Vitamin D uh, can be used, uh, the best way to get your vitamin D is from the sun. And then essential fatty acids can also be helpful for eczema, both omega-6s and omega-3s. There's actually a derivative omega-6 that can be especially helpful for eczema, something called GLA, gamma-linolenic acid. 
And GLA is very helpful for all inflammatory conditions, but especially for skin inflammation, eczema, uh, eczema predominantly. So you can get GLA uh, as capsules, or you can get GLA from evening primrose oil or from your ultimate EFAs from longevity. Zinc is also important for eczema. Zinc is a, a mineral, but it, it tends to be processed by the fatty system of the body. Most people are deficient in zinc unless they're supplementing with zinc. And if you do have any fat malabsorption issues, rest assured, you're probably going to be deficient in zinc. 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate is a good place to be. I would be using 400 international units of vitamin E. Of course, 20,000 international units of vitamin A can be helpful. And make sure you're getting your vitamin D either from omega-3 fat from fish oil, I should say, but especially from the sun. That's the best place to get your vitamin D. Uh, so if you got eczema, go out in the sun, lay out in the sun, and you'll notice that your skin improves. All skin issues improve when you go out in the sun. Don't pay any attention to the craziness about avoiding the sun. You don't want to burn. Nobody's saying you want to go crazy out in the sun, but you absolutely positively do need to be getting a little bit of sun, most especially because you'll get that vitamin D. Treat eczema as a sign of inflammation, microscopic inflammation. Treat eczema as a sign of an activated immune system. Treat eczema as a sign there may be food allergies, and treat eczema as a sign that you may be running deficient in your fatty nutrients. If you want a topical way of treating eczema, the best way to do it is not steroids. That's what you'll get from the doctor. By the way, if you're getting steroids, what does that tell you? That tells you that you have an immune condition, an inflammatory condition by definition. So the best way to topically treat eczema is not with steroid drugs, but with you, by using topical zinc, especially zinc oxide, and topical vitamin C in its fatty format of scorable palmitate. Thanks for your call, Rod. Appreciate it. And that's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. I encourage you all to check out my blog, pharmacistben.com, and please join the Bright Side Ben team. Call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. They can tell you how to do it. For a one-time $10 fee, you can earn yourself some thank you, thank you checks and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Bye for now. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light system today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653. Or order online at GoBerkey.com. That's GoBerkey.com today. 